It's springtime here in Australia and that means that things are growing, including grass. We have a lot of lawns in Australia because people enjoy clearing space and growing a non-native monoculture that can't be eaten. Anyway, that means that people are out and about mowing their lawns, which doesn't just fill the air with the sound of lawn mowers, but also with the smell of freshly cut grass. And unlike the sound of a lawnmower, the smell of freshly cut grass is beautiful. But why is this sweet, earthy smell released when grass is cut? Today, we're going to find out. It turns out that many plants produce a cocktail of chemicals when injured or damaged in some way. There are chemicals that are tasked with promoting a closing of the wounds or where the plant is damaged, chemicals that act as an antibiotic to try and reduce the risk of bacterial infection and chemicals to ward off fungal infection. But that's not all. All of these chemicals are, by the way, referred to as green leaf volatiles, and some of the molecules are small enough to become airborne and be sensed by us. There are molecules that are released that aim to send signals for defence, and this, I think, is super interesting. Some plants are able to alter their green leaf volatiles depending on what happens to them. In 2010, a study conducted by scientists at the Max Planck Institute of Chemical Science identified a compound in the oral secretions of tobacco hornworm, or something in the saliva of tobacco hornworms for want of a better term, that the tobacco plant's leaves responded to by altering their green leaf volatiles to produce an odour that another insect, member of the Geochorus genus, were able to detect quite sensitively. Geochorus are predatory insects and eat tobacco hornworms. The tobacco hornworms eat the leaves, which release a chemical alerting predators to their prey. The Geochorus then not only eat the caterpillars, but also the eggs on the plant. And this is a fantastic defensive mechanism. But Plants can also use green leaf volatiles for communication. Yes, there are plants that can detect and respond to the green leaf volatiles and get their own defensive strategies ready. This may take different forms, including drawing energy and sugars down from the tips and flowers of a plant and down towards the roots to preserve it to spend it later. Plants can tell other plants to preserve energy because something's happening. That's pretty cool. But why does all this smell good to us? Why does the smell of grass smell so strong? Humans don't eat grass. Is the grass inviting us to eat it? Don't eat grass. It'll destroy your teeth. It contains silica. It's not good for you. <laughs> Actually, it turns out that many of the molecules produced by cut grass are very similar to those produced by ripening fruit and vegetables. The things that humans do eat, hence it smells good to us. But why is the smell so strong? Well, lawns have many individual plants and generally they all get cut at once. So they're all releasing green leaf volatiles. So cut grass smells so strongly because there is so much of it being cut at once. I think it's pretty cool that plants produce chemicals that can help them defend themselves that will prepare the plants nearby and that a side of effect of them doing this is that it smells good to us. I just think it's cool. If you'd like to dive a little deeper into this topic, feel free to check out the resources I use in the description below. And I'd also love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, I invite you to subscribe to That's Pretty Cool, where I explore topics, ideas, and questions that capture my curiosity and wonder. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, stay curious, and I will see you next time.